Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to add room tags in Revit. Let's get started. To start adding room tag, you must go to architecture and we have this room and area toolbox. So to start, let's click on room and we can simply add room tag on this and then on this but in this instance we have an open area here first I'm just gonna add the room tag for now and then I'm gonna hit escape and then I'm gonna go back to architecture and we have this room separator click that one and this will help us separate this area. So now, once we click this, it will be bound on this area only. Let's go back to architecture again. Click this room. And then we all have our corridor here. But in this instance, we have this deck area. So in order for us to put a room tag we need to click room separator let's go over to the perimeter and then let's go back to architecture and add the room tag to edit the room name you should just click this and then type in the name of the room you can edit the num the number to this will be the washroom corridor number four number five and lastly deck this will be number six so if for some reason you want to show the volume and the area of the room, you can simply do that by clicking the bedroom and in under the properties, you can select either the area or the volume. So for now, let's put in the room tag first and then let's add color to the rooms so with that just go to properties and look for color scheme so click this one scheme one and then look for rooms and then click on names so once you have that you can select the colors from here and then once you're happy with all the colors that you selected you just need to apply and press ok so if you want to see or to show where it is calculated you can simply do that by typing VG so visibility graphics look for rooms click the 
plus icon there and just check interior fill and reference apply and then okay and with that it will show the area where it is being calculated in order to choose where you want that to be calculated go to rooms and area and then area and volume computation with this you can select if you want it to be calculated at the wall center so let's see what that's look like so it's showing that it's in the center the core layer And then let's choose the other one, the wall core center. So you can choose from those selection. For now, I'm just gonna put it at wall finish. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.